Hello and welcome to Retro Game Connect. I'm Dan Mastriani. I'm Ian Butterfield. And today we're taking part in a proud tournament that lets you call yourself the king for some reason and act like you're all regal because you won a few wrestling matches. Yeah, I know. Wrestling is fun. Uh, <laughs> we're playing WWF King of the Ring for Game Boy. Oh, great. Another yeah. Game Boy wrestling game. Oh, this yes. is going to go swell. Oh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Well, you're going to enjoy it very soon because, uh, yeah, this is not a heavily documented game. Let me guess. It exists. Yeah, so I know that it was developed by someone called Eastridge Technology and that the graphics were by Grey Matter. I imagine how fun that... Uh, how fun Googling Gray Matter was. It didn't work out well. It was like trying to look up stuff on the video game control. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, no, it didn't work out. Yeah, no. Personally, think it's a solid name for a game, but not an easily searchable one. Mm, yes. Yeah, so Gray Matter was not easily searchable. Uh, Moby Games does have a profile of them, but I have no idea what their source was, so I don't know if it's true, so I... Did not bring that forward. Uh, you guys can, you know, go ahead and look them up on mobile games if you would like. But I didn't want to, you know, without some corroborating evidence, want to say this is who they are. And since they've proved impossible to Google, since they do appear to be out of business. Uh, that said, uh, Eastridge Technology uh, may actually still be in business. At the very least, their webpage is still up. Weird. So I do know that they were founded in 1985, and they are based in Princeton, New Jersey. So I guess uh, if we wanted to know more about them, we could drive down there. No. I no, I don't want to. I don't. I don't. I'm not interested enough to. I'm not no. interested in going to New Jersey at all. Yeah. No. No. I'm. I'm. I'm good in the level of toxic waste I get already. Oh. Mm. Yeah, you live in Connecticut. <laughs> yeah. No. We're we're ragging on New Jersey. It's it's, it's fine. We're neighbors. And other than that, I can say that, hey, the Game Boy version is missing two characters. So apparently this game also came out on NES. And the NES had uh, The Undertaker and Bam Bam Bigelow, and this version does not. I'm quite surprised it's missing The Undertaker because, you know, he's always been kind of a big deal. But, yeah. uh, but they took him out. It's weird. Some, some places were disagreeing about who was m missing. Like, one of them said, like, Yokozuna was missing. Like, well, no, he's right on the box, and here are screenshots of Yokozuna. So you're, you're clearly wrong about that. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's, That's weird. Yeah, it's Undertaker and Bam Bam that are missing. I watched us play the game, and Undertaker's actually in there. But uh, I couldn't find any screenshots. I don't know. I, I, I admit I just couldn't be bothered to pop the game in ahead of time to double check. I'm know. sure it's very uninteresting. <laughs> well, there was there is one, shall we say, interesting thing about it, which we will see when we play right now. Oh, jeez. Good golly gosh, it actually started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this one was fine. I bought this one brand new. <laughs> oh, look at that black and white LGN logo. Completely loses all the point. Yeah, yeah there we go. So, King of the Ring. So, uh, as I poorly alluded to at the beginning of the episode, the King of the Ring is a tournament. Ah, you want to just go ahead and go for the King of the Ring? The big feature. Okay. I'm just going to get frustrated Fine. with the controls because they're probably crap. Oh, oh, for God's sakes. I, uh, I unfortunately uh, neglected to uh, look at... Uh, that's right, I couldn't find the box, so I don't have the manual handy. Uh, it's a stupid game. I'm sure it's fine. Am I pressing start here? Okay, so we can see. So this game actually also adds stats. Oh, so everyone has different stats. Uh, you got Brett. You got Lex Luger. Well, I don't think he was the narcissist. Uh, Shawn Michaels. Mr. Perfect. How is Mr. Perfect not the narcissist? Uh, they have different games. He doesn't really admire himself. He's just really good. Like, what is up with this picture of Razor Ramon? Wait, go back to the previous one? Yes. Yes, this is his theme music.
Why do I know it? Uh, you may have heard it in any of the previous games we played that he was in. I guess. Uh, I mean, I feel like it might be Griff on like some public domain music. I don't know. Reza Ramon. And I... I gotta say, he kind of looks... More like a... I don't. I don't know what's that. So it's, uh, it's, of course, your uh, your favorite wrestler by default. Oh yeah, Randy Savage. Yes, Yokozuna is in the game. I don't know why I said he wasn't. And of course, uh, E brother. Hulk Hogan. Oh yes, and this is an interesting feature. So, you have a, a generic wrestler whose stats you can customize, called you. This is kind of a prelude, I guess, to WWF games actually having create a wrestler. Ah. But as you can see, neither Bam Bam or Undertaker in it. Uh, I don't really feel like playing you, but uh, let's see. I don't feel like playing Hulk Hogan either, because he's kind of a jerk. Uh, I don't know wrestlers, so... In real life. Don't, uh... Surely, surely you heard about, uh... The, uh... We're not gonna repeat what he did, but surely you heard about it. There's a big lawsuit. Afterwards, no? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and that's why I don't want to play as Hulk Hogan. Uh, All right, so here's what's interesting about this game. What is up with these graphics? I, I mean, know. seriously, what, what what is going the, on here? The audience of the damned is just kind of hanging out. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's fun right there. That's also a very bizarre looking. Uh... Well, uh, what's up with this? Uh... That's supposed to be a body slam. It's very strange. The audience is going to haunt your nightmares. Um, I like that. I I don't. Do I not have other moves here? I what? don't know. I'm trying to hold different directions to do different things, but I keep doing the same thing. So that's that's exciting. And uh, I, I see that I'm draining health very slowly. So this this will be super exciting. Oh lordy! I I, I don't know why I can't do anything else. Oh, there you go. So this is, this, there's only one attack on the B button? I, why? Okay. Oh, there you go. I hit him with a drop kick. Oh, I yeah. totally meant to do that. You can't prove otherwise. That is, uh, that's sure a terrible, uh, terrible looking suplex. Futurama, you can't prove it won't happen. <laughs> Well, I don't know. We already we already missed some stuff. So do I press the? How do I run? Do I double tap maybe? All right. Looks like he's still not staying down long enough for me to. Uh... There he goes. Both buttons together. I thought so. Uh, ha ha ha. Mr. Perfect tried to jump off the top rope and it didn't work well for him. Ah. Uh, I just I don't even know. I mean, what what is what is with this art style? It's bad. It's real bad. I mean, now keep this in mind. Do I have to? As I mentioned at the beginning, the beginning of the episode, they had a separate company to do the art. They hired people specifically to do this. They should have hired someone else. Yeah, I don't. I just. I don't understand. This is this 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 is the art that they. Uh, Quote unquote. That they, they hired somebody else to do. I. It boggles the mind. Okay, I was gonna try to go up to the top, but uh, there we go. No, oh, I just immediately climbed back down. Uh, oh, okay, apparently the B button is just. Nah, I don't feel like it. Mood. Alright, looks like again, I can. He's finally weak enough that I can hit elbow drops. That's exciting, I guess. Uh, pro tip, not actually exciting. Uh, apparently A button just stops, so is, is my only uh, running maneuver in uh, 
a clothesline here, or in a clothesline, a drop kick. Oh, I got out of the ring, whatever. That's fine. Is the chair or anything out here? I don't think there is. I don't think it is fine. No, there's like nothing. There seems to be a countdown. Yes, it's separate for each wrestler too, which is not something that actually happens in real life. You mean video games aren't real life? I know, right? What? I mean, in actual wrestling, they don't they don't do it like that. So why would you do it like that in the video game? I mean, I guess it's a lot easier for a computer to keep track of both guys than a real life referee. But I mean, to be fair, isn't most WWE F wrestling just acting anyway? Yeah, but you know, it's so. Do the rules ever really apply? It can be uh, kind of inconsistent. I'm not gonna lie. Like you know, power levels in Dragon Ball. <laughs> yeah. And it looks like I got a little combo going there. I mean, good God, if over nine thousand is that supposed to be the crowd cheering? Yes, that's supposed to be crowd noise. That hell scream. Just a little, little that hiss. Way. I mean, I don't know, dude. It's 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 the Game Boy. I'm not sure what you're expecting. Pokemon was on the Game Boy. Okay. Pokemon. Didn't have good. crowd noises. No. Ah. I like how I hit him with my feet, doing an elbow drop. <laughs> that's, that's fun. Do that little punch combo there. Seems to be effective. I mean, geez, if being a, le a power level over nine thousand was impressive, like. Good God, what are those two at at this point? I sure wish I had more moves right now. Uh, I guess that was supposed to be a back body drop. Yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, Mr. Perfect known for diving off the rope all the time. He doesn't do this. <laughs> yeah, can I, like, hit the select button to do the sharpshooter or something? Maybe, please? No. This, this game just doesn't have special moves, does it? Oh, uh, you're giving him CPR. Yeah. I think someone's going to have to give me CPR. Mm. Well, I mean, just, you know, <sighs> going Ultra Instinct like that is definitely, like, good God. How did that not rip that dude apart? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. So that was a slog. Yeah, I'm... I'm feeling bad about finishing this tournament. I don't know. Uh, that's uh, kind of it's kind of why I started veering off on other things. I, I, oof. That that took a while. That was painful. Yeah. I uh, I feel bad about being like let's do one match, but ooh. Is there anything else to see? Ah, uh, there's a tag team mode. Should I reset it and do tag team mode? Do you think? Does it matter? I mean, uh, there's no extra moves. No, I mean you can like tag the other guy in who just immediately replaces you. I think. Mood. Yeah. This is. I don't know. I you know you think these would get better, but they keep having them done by completely different developers. Mm. And they don't build on anything. And I mean, you know, I know it's Game Boy, but come on. There, there were there were fun wrestling games on NES. At least it's not what the new 2K basketball game is. What horribly? Uh, oh, you, this is a microtransaction thing. It is. It's slot machine the game. Yeah. They straight up have gambling mechanics in it. Well, at least there, you actually it's actually you know, the, all the DLCs is is uh, is this is is a problem, but at least it's distracting you from an actual good game. No, no, like everything is all unlocked through, like, slot machines, and you can just pay to win. Like, that's... Okay, but, you know, like, the actual basketball simulation is, as far as I know, good, is what I'm saying. But what does that matter? If you're paying $60 for a game, that immediately says, give me more money. I mean, you can't just, you know, go in and play an expedition game? Well, you I mean, it's not like you have to, to pay extra for each stuff. team, right? You know, as far it's as not I can that tell, that's how it is. That's crazy. No, there's no way you have to unlock the teams. Listen, I'm pretty sure you can just go in and play basketball. Listen, they haven't released it yet. All they literally they had like an entire trailer that was like 
Gambling mechanics, the game. So, um, you, so it's not even out and you're complaining about what, what they did. So you, I'm complaining you know. about the industry as a whole. Okay. Because, like, GTA Online has an in-game casino now. Yeah, sure. Where you can use real-life money Which to is buy in-game currency to go to the casino. Which is why you can't buy it in some countries. Yeah. I... I but know. the worst part about the fact of, like, the sports games having these mechanics is they're rated E for everyone. Mm. You know. Are they rated teen? No. Really? Kids. Kids yeah. can just learn gambling mechanics in a game and gamble their parents' money away. Well, let's, we, we saw a different move because Shawn Michaels, like, reversed. Was that, I mean, was that supposed to be a clothesline? kind of looked like just an elbow, and I, I don't know. I wasn't looking. Yeah. Everybody has the same moves, and they all look really weird. They all walk really weird. Yeah, and I guess we're not going to see Yokozuna. He's, he's just like, has a different body type because, you know, he was a big fat guy. Uh, rest in peace, because he died because he was quite large. I'm pretty sure that contributed. It doesn't seem to be any sort of Irish whip or anything. Uh, I actually wanted to climb the ropes there. And uh, instead I... Uh, oh, you wanted to control the game? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you can't get in and out of the ring from the bottom. I, yeah. I don't know. Uh, so they announced a new trilogy of Thrawn, game, of Thrawn books, so yeah. that's exciting. Yeah. You just don't even care. I'm sorry, this is just so dull. Ah, uh, okay, I don't know. I Like, what, I, I, I don't know what to comment on. Yeah, you know, it's... Everyone it's... just looks like buff Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> like... Oh, Lord. This game is tearing me apart, Lisa. Yeah, this is, you know, this is the crazy thing about this. This is like, this is like a classic, classic matchup is Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart. If you say so. They had a major rivalry. They actually really didn't like each other in real life. They had some personal issues, and they were both good wrestlers and had some great matches. And, and this is making it as, like, as boring as it possibly can. Well, not to mention, isn't the WWE slowly going out of style now? I don't know. I mean... After well, it well, came out that like WWE straight up doesn't give a damn about their wrestlers... I mean that's not new, so I yeah. well yeah people but didn't know that they weren't prevalent. paying attention. And now there's that other wrestling league that's starting up well, that's well, actually like gaining traction we'll and see. doesn't treat the wrestlers like crap. Here's the thing though, WWE is a massive multinational corporation. It would take a lot. Yeah, of Yeah, so they can business. go screw themselves. I mean, I'm not super happy with the stuff they're doing with Saudi Arabia. I refuse to watch any of those. Uh, because that's, that's just gross. I mean, I'm not going to pretend, you know, Vince McMahon wasn't all about the money to begin with, but, you know. Like, come on. Dude's kind of, uh, kind of a jerk. Yeah, he's, he's not, he's not, not great. I'm living in Connecticut, Vince. What are you going to do about it? Oh, watch out. That, uh, he, he will, he might actually come fight you. It's Vince I, McMahon we're talking about I, here. I welcome it. He's still he's pretty buff for like a seventy year old dude. Well, yeah, but my, my average days are boring. That would liven things up a bit. Uh, Besides, I'm a dirty fighter. Uh, well, he might. He's, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he is too. He might. Uh, you know, he might bring some backup. I have Triple H with a sledgehammer coming after you. I highly doubt it. I'm just trying to come up with something because I just uh, I want to at least finish the match because I'm close. He doesn't have much health left. I I don't know who I'm going to be facing in the, in the last round. If it's Hulk Hogan, I won't even bother because he's not going to be. Well, maybe I'll start the match so we can see Hulk Hogan looking exactly the same as everybody else. I don't know. I did want to see Yokozuna because he's like the one guy in the match in the game with a different body type since they took out Bam Bam. From the from the Game Boy version. And he would also be in, I guess, 
Uh, he was a lot thinner than Yokozuna, but of course this game only has two body types. So, mm. Like many of these other games, they just kind of have one model and they, you know, slightly change them. All right. Because like all these games, you pretty much have to tap the crap out of them completely before they stay down. Do you remember when Linda McMahon ran for governor? No, because she didn't run for governor. She ran for Senate. Mm, what's the difference? They're all dumb anyway. Okay. She lost twice. I know. And then Trump gave her a job anyway. Yep. That all does right. not surprise me. Macho man. Uh, no. No. Whoop. So yeah, we played 20, 20 minutes, and I, I feel like we maybe spent a little more, too much time on that. There was this is about mm. fifteen minutes more than was even really necessary. I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know. I was hoping to find something different to yeah. show off, and I didn't want to give it up. On I didn't want to. I feel bad. Like like, hey, we did a video where we played the game for five minutes. That sounds you, bad, you, but you keep getting I don't your know. hopes high for some of these games that are know. like. This is obviously just going to be repetitive. Yeah, I. I don't know. I, I guess I don't want people to accuse us of not trying. Yeah, but I so, kind of want to accuse the developers of not trying. Yes, yes. So, uh, I mean, mm, we, mm. I kind of I want to accuse Gray Matter of not trying. What was with that art? I don't know. It's, and on the character parts, it's were just. The audience's screams haunt me. Ah. It's just It's like like a watch. child drew with them. I like it's what it's, it's, it's like <laughs> the audience is just like we want to eat your souls. I don't know. I that how <sighs> you know, I they keep switching developers, nobody builds on anything, and I feel like even on Game Boy you could do better. It's like how is it like the one the game that Rare knocked out in what a month was it that they spent developing that game? Three months total from from uh, from like getting the project to it being shipped, uh, and know. like it was super basic, but it was at least mildly fun, you know. I well, Rare knows how to make a game. Yeah. So there's that. Yeah, I I don't know. I it's like how is Superstars like still the best one when it wasn't even that good? Yeah. I I don't know. I we've got. We've got one more after this, which is uh, WWF Raw, where they tried to squeeze the uh, the 16-bit wrestling game on the Game Boy. Oh, that sounds like it went horribly. So, that, that should be fun. And after that, one more, but it's on Game Boy Color, so maybe that'll make a difference. It's slightly more powerful. Who knows? Maybe they tried a little more. Oh, man. Yeah. Maximum effort. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll be pretty much done with Game Boy. Uh, so we got like at least one more Ninja Turtles game. And I did have, I don't know. We'll have a Star Trek game and we'll play that. <laughs> it's, it's based off Enter the Nexus, so that's the... <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh, uh, that's, the, that's the movie where they killed off Captain Kirk. Uh... In a really dumb way. What, did he just force project himself fast forward across the universe after not no, being in character the whole time? No, leave it alone. Leave it alone. I have issues with the Last yeah, okay. Jedi's portrayal of Luke Skywalker. Okay. You have too much time on your hands to think about it. Is, is, is the... I have too much work time where I have nothing else to think about. And you're, you're nitpicking. You're nitpicking from every single flaw. Okay. I'm not nitpicky. I will forgive certain flaws because mm. you can't just nitpick everything. But when you do a complete 180 on a character's arc, only to repeat that arc in the same film, but poorly, it's poorly done. Okay. I don't want to argue about this. I No, I don't want to get into this. Anyhow, uh, yes, uh, that, 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 I completely lost my train of thought. This... Uh, I'm pretty sure the people who developed this game lost their train of thought. Yeah, I don't know. I I mean, I went to these guys' webpage, and they don't even list video games, so that's... Mm, Telling. Yeah. I mean, granted, it's been quite some time 
<laughs> this game, this is a 90s game, so you know. Some 90s games are still good. I'm just saying that it, they may have pivoted away from the fact they may not do any video game contract work anymore, so they might not feel the need to list any video games they work on, regardless of the quality. Maybe they don't do that contract work anymore because it was so bad. Yeah, I don't know. They were like, damn, we suck at this. I don't we know of any other games not. they developed. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't see. Uh, no, there were there was other stuff. They did a bunch of stuff. I think it was all '90s stuff. I saw I saw other stuff. I just don't remember. Uh, I didn't really sleep super well, and after playing this game, I'm not super focused. Uh, no. I just keep you know. I don't know why I keep buying these games. Uh, well, actually, I had my parents keep buying them. I, I didn't spend my own money on them. I don't know either. Uh, I could play them on the go, you know, which makes, I guess, made me, uh, made it more worthwhile to try to get as much enjoyment as, out of them as I could. I guess. You know, when you're a kid and you only get one game, you try to squeeze all the fun out of it you can. I had my parents get me, like, Pokemon yeah. and Kirby. I mean, you, know. you could power up your created wrestler, you, in one of those modes. You know, as you go through it, you would get more points, so that's You should have just something. played Tetris. I it did! Been, a lot! Yeah, but it would have been more I had to play other this. stuff, okay? I can only, I, yeah. <laughs> I had so many games. I wasn't buying. It was, I wasn't an adult who could spend money and buy way too many games. Mm. Yeah, I should never have been working at a video game store. Mm. I've got so many games I've I've never even played. Yeah. I think I've said before that half the reason I started the show is like, this is going to force me to play these games. And I just have gaming ADD where oh. I just play a game for a while and then go, oh, I'm gonna play something else. And yeah. then I go play something else. I'm trying to force myself to actually finish some stuff. I have to go back and finish Control. I have so many things where I'm like, if I try to go back to it, I'm like, uh, what was I doing? How do you play this game? Oh, no. Um, like, Borderlands 3 came out like two weeks after Control came out. So yeah, it's just like... Yeah. <laughs> but like when I, when I got this, the, this new lap, the, the laptop that we use now, I was like, hey, I've got a nice new laptop. This should run Batman Arkham City much better. Then my, my desktop does. Uh, let but me go Arkham back. Arkham City doesn't run on PC well at all. No, you're thinking of Arkham Knight. Oh. That's the one that's really badly optimized. True. Yes. Ar Arkham City runs fine. But don't you have a PlayStation 4? Why don't you just get it for that? Oh, because I got it like in a Hummel bundle super cheap. Uh, sorry, and I also got again, distracted by a floaty thing. I'm again talking about Arkham City, not, not Arkham Knight. Yeah? I, I, Arkham City was, well... I'd already beaten it before they really released it on PS4. I had it for the Xbox One. Okay, wasn't that like a re-release though? Or it was Maybe. it was originally on like 360 and PS3. I know the first Arkham game was. Yeah, I got like the first two Arkham games in the bundle on PC, so mm. it was super cheap. Mm. That's why I got them on PC. Mm. I didn't have a PlayStation 4 at the time. No, Humble Bundle actually has the Crash trilogy, the Spyro trilogy. And Call of Duty World War II, which I don't know why you'd want that, but mm -hmm. that's the games of the month for there. But I didn't really bother with it because I don't think my laptop could run them. Mm -hmm. So, and I already have Spyro. Yeah, well, anyhow, uh, I was like, like I said, I you know, it, I, I got that. I went back to uh, I was like, oh, now that I have the laptop and it'll run better, because you know my desktop is from 2005, and it was uh, I was able to get it to run okay, but. Not as smooth as it could be. No. And I was like, well, it'll run much better on my laptop. I can go back and, because I got burned out collecting Riddler trophies. And I'm like, well, let me go back and see if I can finish collecting the Riddler trophies and finish the Riddler stuff, because that was all I had left. And then I can finally do the DLC that was included that I didn't play. Why would you wait to finish the Riddler stuff to do that? There's so much fracking Riddler stuff. I know, but the DLC is a whole separate thing, and I wouldn't have my powered up Batman and everything. I never bothered with the Riddler stuff. I don't know. It well, I wanted annoying. I wanted to finish the Riddler stuff because I, I liked the puzzle rooms. I liked the idea of some of it, but it was just too much. I know, the trophies. That's why I stopped because yeah. like I couldn't... There were too many trophies. It's too many. 
It was too much. Too many cooks. I was thinking also like, well, maybe some of the, the cat woman ones will be easy to get and I can get my turtle that way. But then I couldn't remember how to switch to cat woman. I couldn't remember how to play and I got like killed in like the 10 seconds. Like, Whoa, okay, it's been way too long since I played this game. Dang. Even after trying to warm up by doing some like challenge stuff from the, some of the challenge stuff. Hmm. I was like, okay, you know, this isn't warmed up. I'm back into shape. No, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, so I've been too long, and I, I, I did bad. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think people have probably tuned out by now. This is, I think we've tuned out. Yeah, so if you enjoyed this more than we did, please give this episode a like. If you want to catch future episodes, and which we hopefully play more exciting games. Hopefully. I, yeah, you know, I, I mean... Usually the Star Wars games are exciting, at least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we got we got we got more of those coming. Sometime I've got we've got plenty. Oh yeah, that's I, just the first thing my brain jumps to with interesting games. I feel like I do have other wrestling games that are actually good. Not to mention there are games on the 360 that now fall into our category. I know we're gonna have to start point. doing that. I, I might we'll, we'll have to see. We might have to sub it in for one of the platforms because it's getting hard for me to. To keep us in Saturn games, mm. I, I I hope I they... still have my three six my Xbox three sixty Elite hanging around. So well, I have and my my even older three sixty around too. So yeah, but mine's fancy. No, mine is not fancy. It doesn't even have HDMI out. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, that's that's how early I got and it. I have a fancier pants one. Yeah, well, of course you got an Elite. HDMI. E. Yeah. No, I mine. Well, I've I've got the original model. Like uh, I've got the biggest hard drive you can get, and it's only uh, what was it like, uh, 120 gigs? That was the oldest one you can get on the original yep. model. Yeah, that thing's full up. Yeah. I don't even have room to save stuff anymore. If I if I start any new games, I'm probably gonna have to do cloud save. Yeah. Which I keep saying oh like. Oh my I, god, we could play Halo Three. We could. I'd have that. I mean, I do too. Just like realizing that's how old that game is. Yeah. I mean, I would probably want to, like, the oldest game I think I have for 360 is Dead Rising, so we probably want to start with that. Well, I, I, yeah. I don't know if we could get a uh, very, very interesting episode of it out of Hex HD. No, just... <laughs> Though I played a lot of it much more than I wanted to, because uh, when I bought the 360, I didn't have enough money left over to actually buy any games for it. Mild existential crisis about how old Halo 3 is. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're on to, what, fifth or sixth one? Five is out, six is coming. Yes, Halo Infinite. Yeah. Or already Infinite. out. I didn't I don't know. I lost track of when this episode's coming out. Oh, Infinite's not coming out until late twenty twenty. Okay, so this should come out ahead it's of that. It's supposed to come out with the as everyone has been calling it, the Xbox Two. Yeah, you know, you're talking about the current home monthly, you don't even know the name of the Xbox, but people will probably know by the time uh oh, that's gonna be terrible, like when we were still talking about project talking about NX before after the Switch was already announced. I'm really tempted to just say what the date is. Just oh, to... <laughs> drive me crazy. I don't know how many times I'm like, come on, Ian, you know, these episodes take a while. We don't need people to know exactly how old the episode is. And well, you just, you normal just... TV shows are shot like that, so... Yeah, I know. They that, can just deal with it. That's on the kind of production schedule we're on. Uh, I already said subscribe, I think. I've been Dan Master and you can catch me on Twitter at New Type Cola. I'm Ian Butterfield. You can find me on Twitter at Ian G Butterfield. You can find the show at Retro Game CNCT, Facebook.com forward slash Retro Game Connect, and Retro Game Connect dot com. Let us know what you thought of the games we played. Let us know if there are any games you'd like us to play. We can get our hands on them. We might just play them, so long as we don't die of boredom. Mm, I'm feeling slightly concussed after that game. Mm. That, uh, Which is, must be why there are no pile drivers in it, because, you know, they were worried about hell trauma. Yes. There you go. Yes. But anyhow, most importantly, make sure you join us next time on Retro Game Connect.